You think this has been worked on a few times? Let's see. It's got a, then it's a filter before the cap tube, which is normal. But then come off the discharge line, it's got another filter. <laughs> oh, 06. Somebody dated it? No, well, oh, the, they got they got serial. Okay. Oh. And you didn't do this, and I didn't do this. That's been before we were working on it. But it's got a CPR, EPR, whatever you want to call it. Shut down and I can't wait. Going right. On the section line, somebody must was trying to regulate the section oh, filter. Yeah. The fact that they put a filter on the discharge line <laughs> makes me think maybe it didn't need that either. Yeah. But I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna, if I fix it, I'm gonna take this out. That's crazy, man. Let me work this unit over. I think I found the restriction. At the beginning part is the filter bar. Just cut it out. Really hard. That sucker's got some shit in it. Ooh, another weird thing is they had the, the liquid line running down through the condensate evaporator pan. Usually they have the discharge line going down there. I don't know if it used to have one. They cut it out. I'm not real familiar with this um, exact model. But uh, that is weird. And even it would evaporate the water off that line. Okay, I just cut out the filter dryer that somebody put on the discharge line. The compressor it should not be there. I can't even blow through this thing. Blowing as hard as I can. That's a pretty good size filter dryer. Now we've got the rep uh, set up. TXV uh, body is brazed in place. I'm going to just oil up the TXV cartridge. Just all that. And put the power head on and pressure test this sucker. Just want to get you check it out though, huh? Got the filter dryer. Pretty good size on the catch any more crap, but also be like a receiver. <laughs> we can, uh. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, how you like this custom fitting right there? Nice. That's that's my balance port tap on a section line. Um, TXV. Should have fixed that. Over to uh, well, I removed all this mess, coupled it into the coil, and then it comes back out. Yeah. Straight over to the section line, and we got some tension bolt right there. Yeah, I do something about that one. <laughs> Down here, I got the discharge line rerouted over here, so the water will drip on the. Hot gas line. Oh, that was slick, right there. That is slick. I like that. That comes over to the claw. Get a still picture of that. Alright, so the last thing I did was that. Uh, this was all kinked on this section line. The last person, so I straightened that out. Yeah. Balance port, TXV, everything set up, pressure tested, and Ready to start vacuuming down and uh, put some insulation on my section line. Yeah. Okay. One pound of refrigerant into the system. Everything hooked up. Ready for ignition.
quieter now. And I got layer of ice and melt it off. So that's about 10 degrees of super heat. And the lowest the sucker would do was like 10 degrees and 13 when I got here, but now it's already 2 degrees and falling. So my DXV was spreading a little bit, but I didn't adjust it before I left because I had a hot box and ran out of time. I needed to come back to work on that other unit anyway. So let the TXV clamp down a little bit and it's throttling between 10 and 15 degrees of super heat, but it's probably good enough. Trucking along. Yeah. Here's all the old junk I took out of that system. Capillary tube, which looked like it had been replaced before, and I wasn't going to trust the link. Small liquid line filter, which is pretty normal size, which was right before the cap tube. But this is a big culprit. This is a <laughs> filter dryer that was on the discharge line of the compressor. What the fuck? And then the CPR valve. It was, uh, this was put on the evaporator suction line coming out of the evaporator. Makes me think that uh, somebody had the system all mismatched or something <laughs> to have all that shit on. So, it's kind of beautiful now. What the bloody hell was that?